Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Public Games and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Build a City series. So today we're looking at how to build a jewelry store in Minecraft. This one was a lot of fun for me as we got to spend a lot of time doing the interior of the build, which I don't usually do in this series. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of cool things that we learned and played around with here. So uh, without any further ado, I think we should just jump right into it and start the build. Alright guys, so jumping into things here, I already have a little bit of the store laid out just to uh, speed things up here. But we've basically got six blocks here uh, high and then a seven, or sorry, a nine block wide window. So six by nine on this side and then six by nine on this side. And then we've got a little three by five window on either side right here. Now uh, we're going to be changing things a lot, but those are the basic measurements of what we got going on right here. Uh, you can maybe just screenshot it or whatever. Take a uh, pause in the video to count some blocks if you need to. And this is going to be the back of the store all through here. Uh, we can't go into that store too much, so I don't know what this is really doing here, actually. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be the store that we're working for today, and we're building a jewelry store. You probably already know that because uh, the title probably said it somewhere, I'm, I'm sure. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would have mentioned that. Uh, either way, that's the kind of store that we're going to be building today. So the first thing that i got to just do here is build this wall, uh, this back wall up all the way. And we might even do a little bit of a back room as well, coming off the back here, because we do have some room for that. Or do we? Because I want this to be a road. Actually, we probably do we have enough room. Maybe we might put a little one back here. I'm not sure. So I am using the cut sandstone on this build. I'm just going to simply go ahead here and do uh, cut, sorry, cut sandstone, just like so. And then we're going to use that exact same command with this coordinate right here. And we'll just simply fill that in the first spot, and that will be our walls completed. We also need to put a roof on this place. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for that. All right, so I think we'll just do a regular cut sandstone roof if I recall. That one doesn't have the lines on the bottom, or maybe it does. Let's just try it here, and it might have to be changed. Uh, cut sandstone like so. We go down underneath. No, that's perfectly fine. I like that. And then what we're going to do here is actually add some sea lantern uh, lines heading in. So I'm kind of thinking if we go uh, and we start them right here, this is probably the best place to start them. Yeah, that looks good right there. What we're going to do is we're basically going to come out like so. Uh, and create like a little bit of a U-shape. Sorry about the lag. I don't know what's going on here right now. But uh, we're getting a little bit of lag for sure. Uh, anyway, we're going to cut them out like this. Kind of just like doing this uh, this shape continuously with the sea lanterns. Until we get to the back of the store. And that's going to be a really cool lighting uh, feature. And also a, a nice little design there. Um, so I think something like that might do the trick. And we landed there perfectly. Uh, we're going to leave these first couple blank though. Just because we also need to do some stuff here. Which I'll explain later. But that's going to look good I think. Uh, let's go ahead and fill that all in with sea lanterns. And actually, you could use the fill command here. Uh, if you just start over here in this corner, we're just going to go fill. And then we will grab this corner right here. And we'll go ahead and fill it here with sea lanterns. And then keep. And there we go. All right, so let's talk about the front here. We got these big, huge open window sections. So I want to go along the ground here first and sort of lay out. In fact, we could do the entire floor. Uh, actually, no, we can't. I want to do the sandstone outline. So let's do the cut sandstone uh, along the outside here. And then when we get to the inside... We'll change actually some of this cut sandstone, but I'll show you in a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a quartz floor in here. I think that will look pretty good, and uh, that's going to be a nice touch on the store as well. Quartz block, that looks pretty good. We're also going to come out here actually and do three like so, and then three like so, and I'll explain that in a second. Okay, we're going to be using black stained glass on this store. I think it looks pretty sleek and modern, and I'm just going to basically be building it up off the ground here. And coming right up to the ceiling with it, just like so. All right, looking pretty good. And then we're going to go along here and actually go four blocks up. We're going to do just two of those layers like that. Exact same deal on this side of the store. And, uh, and again, with those two layers at the top here, they go all the way along. And that's where our entrances are going to be, kind of in these areas down here. I'm going to outline them in a second. These can also get the uh, black stained glass as well. But these are going to be a little bit more interesting what we're going to do with these window sections here in a second. Okay, so we're on the inside of the store now. I'm going to go along here. By the way, we're on like the uh, the Beverly Hills area. Kind of like the all the upscale shopping and whatnot. That's why I'm putting a jewelry store in right here. There's actually one right across the street. But I figure there, uh, there can never be enough jewelry stores in these kind of high-end areas anyway. So this is what we're doing. We got one like that though. I think that looks pretty good. And actually, I'm going to go along here now. Just add a quartz slab that goes along the top here. Just to sort of uh, seal the deal with it. It's a pretty basic looking store. A little bit more modern, I suppose. On this one, I actually did some diamond cutouts. You could do something like this on that store as well. This one's a little bit more detailed. But uh, I wanted to make this one much more sleek and modern. I think it kind of looks like an Apple store in a way. Obviously, it's not white. But with the big glass areas or the big glass windows. And then they open up the doors. Um, that's very simple, though. I like how plain and simple it is. And, uh, and yeah, let's go inside here and see what we can do to deck this place out. And when I say deck this place out, I'm obviously meaning that we got to make it look really nice. I mean, if this is a high-end store, there's a lot of things that got to happen here. Starting off with the window displays, that's exactly what these areas are going to be right in here. I'm going to do the sandstone back just to keep it pretty plain and simple. But we're going to grab some sea lanterns again. And we're going to put them on the floor here to boost things up to the eye level of the customer. We might even do some along the top there. I'm not sure. 
Um, I'm not actually a fan. Well, maybe actually. It doesn't look that bad, does it? Yeah, it looks like a nice little lighting feature. We'll leave it like so. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some armor stands because I figure there's not really a lot of good ways to display uh, you know, high-end jewels and whatnot. So maybe we'll just go ahead and do that for right now. You know what? Why don't we... I'm trying to think about if I should leave it just playing with the one or if I should do three because if you add three, it gets a little busy and, you know, these places often just have one single piece on display. So maybe we'll just leave that there because that looks pretty fancy. On this side, we'll go ahead and build the display over here exact same way. We're going to go and put our wall up like so. And this shouldn't look too strange on the inside because obviously it happens on either side and the counter is actually going to run behind connected to this. So I'll show you that in a second. It will all kind of make sense here. But uh, the scene lanterns are needed again here. Hold on. We'll grab those. I don't know why they keep disappearing from my inventory. Go ahead and put them on the ground there as well. And this side, we're going to do some item frames, I think. We'll try that out uh, with some different ores in them because obviously it's a jewelry store. we got to display those items. So we'll have a gold piece, like a gold ingot. Um, where do we find diamonds either? Or even, <laughs> uh, we find diamonds in there. And then I think like what would be really cool, like a nether star maybe? Is that kind of crazy? Quartz would be cool. Nether star would be right here. Why don't we try the nether star in the middle? So we'll just simply place three of them here. Again, one might be a little bit more simplistic, but again, I think this time we'll try three. Um, but that kind of looks pretty boss. And those look like very high end uh, pieces that you could, that you could buy in the window display. Pretty cool so far. I'm really liking how this is looking. Hey, the all glass is fantastic on the front. That's really cool. So you walk in, and uh, usually jewelry stores, they have these massive glass counters. Massive maybe is a little bit of an overstatement. Well, I mean, generally speaking, they're pretty big. So what we're going to do is we're going to go along here and do uh, a counter that faces inwards. Uh, because I think this could be a little bit interesting. Like a little bit of a design feature. It just gives the uh, the cashier at least something to look at. Maybe something that, you know, put their valuables or their the diamonds underneath. I'm not exactly sure what you'd be doing under there, but I've, you notice I've inset this one black back on either side of our display cases. That's because on the front here, we're going to be going along and placing a, uh, a layer of black stained glass. Also, I missed this block, so let's fix that. So that gives us what looks to be a nice little display case. Now, there's something really cool that I like to do with these display cases, which I did in the other jewelry store as well. And what I think I want to do here is add some carpet on top. Let's see. I think maybe the gray would look very sleek here. And this kind of seals it as a countertop but also allows for the uh, the jewelry to go below. Now, generally speaking, when you're at the jewelry stores, you can see from above, but I really like the look of this in Minecraft, how it has a countertop like that. If you do want to be able to see from above, you can simply go ahead and remove that on yours. But in my case, I mean, that doesn't look bad either. Let's be honest. Let's just try it here. That doesn't look too bad at all with the countertop back here. It's a big, huge double wide counter. You can leave it like that. I think just for me though, I prefer to have two layers of the, uh, of the wool or the carpet going here. And then that just allows for a really cool display area, but then a nice counter, which you can, you know, do your negotiations on. That brings us to the general kind of a uh, floor. Now we've got our quartz blocks still here, but I think I'm going to actually use stairs and just in a few areas here, I'm going to place some displays. Now the displays are kind of interesting as well because uh, actually where did I place that one? I placed it kind of right here. I want to do one on either side, sort of lined up with each other um, in some way. Maybe we'll put those one block out actually just sort of like, so uh, something for people to look at. Um, the displays are kind of interesting because they don't really display anything, but they do look like displays, so I put them in anyway. Uh, where's the black stained glass? Or maybe we'll use like some cyan or light blue, something interesting. And those kind of look like little displays, right? Where you maybe have a couple uh, jewels displayed within that glass case. So I like to put those out there in the store for people to look at, whatever. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Maybe you could do another one back here. Like a little, a little one right here. I'm not sure. Uh, you don't want to obviously make it too busy, but I also kind of like the random factor of it so maybe we'll put one like right here like so and then we'll put this one over here i was gonna put them all kind of symmetrical but i didn't like the look of that so that's kind of a couple of cool displays that you can look at as a customer i kind of like that it's kind of cool and like modern fun uh especially on those stairs now we get to the back counter here and you're like oh wow well, there's all the items if you made the counter three blocks back which uh you can do it's kind of takes up a little bit more room which is why i didn't do it, but i'll just demonstrate it here for the purpose of this video uh, because we are making a jewelry store uh, this allows for you to then go ahead and place some item frames in here. And I'm not sure, actually, this would be an experiment for me to see if you can actually still place the carpet on top of those. I believe you can. No, you can't, right? Because they actually, you place them on the low or on the down low, on the below. I don't know. <laughs> on the uh, on the ground. Can you add string in front of them? You can. Perfect. So you could do something like that and then make it so you can see the uh, items. The only reason why I don't do this is because I find it, you know, you can't see the items from the counter anyway. So it kind of defeats the purpose of it. And uh, I guess when you do it like that, you can sort of see the items. So that is a cool way of doing it if you want to make it more functional. But I think for the purpose of this video, we're not necessarily going 
for functionality. We're going for looks and aesthetics. So we're going to leave it like so. That gets us to one of the most fun parts. We're going to have an exit right here actually to the back room. Uh, I'm not sure if we're even going to put a back room on, but we'll add that anyway, just so there is an access point. But now will be the point where you get your item frames out. Um, so let's go ahead here and maybe grab a couple of those. And we go along this wall and we add maybe one, two, three, four different uh, items that you can purchase here. On this side, we're going to add some uh, armor stands. Oh, that's not how you spell that. Arm Armor? Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to go along here and add the same amount of armor stands starting from one block in. One, two, three, and four. Just like so. Actually, move the armor stands up one block at least so they, uh, they're a little bit more visible. That's no, That's kind of interesting though, that offset white. Um, let's go ahead and actually add some sea lanterns maybe as the display for those. I think if we just do one, two, three, four, that will do pretty good. So this store is going to sell diamonds, gold. What else can we sell? I think we had another star out front and maybe an emerald. That's a pretty good lineup, I think. So we'll go along here, just put the diamond, the uh, the gold, the emerald, and another star. In fact, you know what might also look good is if we go behind these blocks and we place a sea lantern. Yes, indeed. That kind of makes them stand out a little bit more. Let's see if I can do this without breaking anything. Beautiful. That's really cool. Then behind the armor stands, we'll follow that same sort of design with the sea lanterns behind. We'll go along here and add. There's no emerald or nether star armor, obviously. So we got to figure out an armor system for that. Uh, if we go into the armor, though, uh, under tools, we can go along and grab the diamond armor first. That's a pretty simple one. I guess we'll just have to do all the armor, sort of. We'll just do a gold armor here. Maybe you could have like an enchanted set. It all depends on what your store sells, I suppose. But uh, we'll go along here and add the iron set as well. And then we'll add the chainmail set. Maybe a little bit cheaper in the store. Maybe one of the more affordable items. I'm not sure. That's pretty cool though. I'm really liking how simple it is. And, uh, and how many things are going on. Now aesthetics wise it still looks like we're missing something. And you guessed it. Diamonds. There's no jewelry store that's really complete. Without some sort of diamonds within the store. And I think the uh, the best place to put them will be up here at the top of the, uh, of the back of the counter. You keep them all very valuable. Nice blue color. Kind of encouraging people to buy stuff. You could also do gold I suppose. But I think that really helps seal the deal there. That really pulls the counter together. Kind of matches a couple of the items, which is nice as well. And guys, that is pretty much going to do it. I think that's it. We've got a, a really cool little store going on here. These nice big open glass window areas. The wall or window displays, I should say, on either side, which are looking pretty cool as well. And then we've got this great little indoor space with multiple different display cases set out amongst the floor. And then also these little tiny... A uh, little tiny, what am I saying? Big display, well, I mean, they're not huge. They're nice size displays for these items. We've got lots of different armor on this side and then some little accessories on this side as well as this nice big glass counter. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out the diamond blocks. Of course, we can't forget about those. The cool sea lantern ceiling, which all kind of directs the customer in an arrow towards the uh, towards the front counter. And then the little back door here as well, so they can exit the building and whatnot. Um, I'm thinking that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of this build or not? It's kind of something different we usually do. Um, some sort of how to build like and then we do an actual building um, so this is a little bit different we've done the interior of a store here but I think it was a lot of fun very interesting and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did uh, and you liked it and you want to see more interiors of stores and whatnot let me know down below also if you have any suggestions for future videos on this series uh, what do you want to see built in Minecraft let me know below and I will uh, see if we can accomplish that uh, anyway if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to go down below leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys all in the next video